You see that? Like this. Don't confuse. Many people grab the right ear. It's wrong. Grab directly like this. And then under. Okay? Very simple. Hold arm from outside to inside. Behind the neck. Like this. Like that. Understand? Hold arm to go through behind neck. And then put your head inside. Okay? So grab like this. While you hold your partner's arm, put your head and then roll like this. And then turn your body and it's very simple, huh? So uh, basically you have to understand the newaza compared to dachiwaza. It's totally different. So dachiwaza means you have to catch the timing perfectly. Or you have to deceive your partner in Tachiwaja for your techniques. And then you have to be nice in Tachiwaja. But in Newaja, it's different. You don't need to catch the timing. You don't need to save your time. Just rock a part of your partner's body, like uh, elbow or shoulder, or a part of body. And then rock the other body and then open the other body. And then lock the other body, and then open the other body. And then lock up the other body, and open the body. And then eventually, you hold where you wanna get on your partner. So chalk for chalk, for armbar for pinning. So you don't need to control whole body, right there. So can you turn around, turn around, yeah, right down. Turn around, right down, right down. Right down, right down. So many people try to control whole body like that. It is wrong. So if, if I control his body here, which means that I can control whole his body. If I control his own head, which means that I can control his whole body. Don't try to control whole body, to hold like this. Do you understand? And then, so you have to make your partner uncomfortable. If your partner is comfortable, he can use all his power to get up. If your partner is uncomfortable, he cannot use all his power. Maybe he can use 30%, 40% of his power, which means that he cannot get up. But if he is very comfortable, he can use 100% of his power to get up, which means that Make him painful <coughs> in Newaja. Understand? Painful, make him uncomfortable means that painful. Choking is not nice. <laughs> it's not comfortable. You have to make him uncomfortable, painful. Armbar is also not nice. <laughs> you know, painful. You have to do that in Newaja. Pinning means that too. If you make him you uh, pinning nicely, comfortably, he can get up. But if we, you make him painful, he cannot use his power. So if you pin like this, it's very nice. So he can use his power, right? But if I hold it and then push his chin like that, it's very painful and uncomfortable, which means that he concentrates on his chin, so he cannot get up. Well, grab like this, and put my elbow on his stomach to, you know, he, he cannot breathe, which means that he cannot get up. So, judo is a very gentle sport, very, very nice, except newaja. If you want to be good at newaja, you have to know how to make him painful with this newaja. Don't forget, if he is very Comfortable, he can use all his power. You have to make him not to use 100% of his power. It is Newaja. Okay? It's not gentle. That's why many people like to do jujitsu. So painful, aggressive, it is good for fighting. Many people thought that. But a little bit different meaning. Do you understand? 
So make him uncomfortable all the time. So in this case, wrap, okay? Wrap the wrapper here, wrapper here, down, hold. You, your partner is not foolish, is not stupid. He knows everything what you know in judo. Do you understand? So grab here, if I hold like this, like this, he will defend. Understand? While you are roaring, you hold his arm, you go through your hands behind his neck. All right? Hold, grab the lapel here, and then put your head on time. And then do that like this. You see that his body, he looks uncomfortable, huh? If we like this, he's very comfortable together. So turn his body like that, and then make him like this. So he, his body make him like that, which means that he cannot use his palm together. For to the 25 seconds, there you go. You get it, but then let him go. It is judo. Understand? So you're gonna check all the time whether he is comfortable or not. If he is comfortable, your technique is wrong. If he is very painful, uncomfortable, your technique is right. You're gonna check yourself. Do you understand? Okay. Well, I'm gonna show one more time and then I will give you a few minutes to do that. Drop the wrapper like this, and then put him down, and hold his arm from outside inside. Then put your hand. You have to put your head inside. If you put your head here, you cannot roll him. Okay? Put your head inside like this. Okay? Do you have any question about it? No? Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes to practice this technique. Okay. What I do carefully can cut my technique completely. In Dajuaza techniques, if you watch my technique carefully, you cannot copy that at once. But in Nevada, if you watch the techniques carefully, you can copy that completely, 100%. Understand? I think most of them do this technique well, maybe more than I expect. Great. Right, better than my dojo students. <laughs> Completely. Okay. Okay. Make a proper song. Alright. It's the same way to make pin with the people one. Okay? So stand up. Grab the rappel like that. Okay, watch my hand like this. Not this, right? Somebody tried to right this. Right here. And then, you know, when you try to do your techniques from this position, you have to be behind him. So many people make a mistake, be here, like this. So your balance too higher, so he, he can escape easily. So you have to put your chest behind his near here all the time. So he can control, you can control him. If you try to move left, you can follow him. Or right, or follow him easily. But if you to go up, you cannot catch him. So behind him, here, all the time. Okay? They grab the red pair, and then roll him, and hook, hook the, his uh, belly, and they control his leg. And move your right hand like this. And grab the belt. Okay? And move your right hand to hook the belly and then put it down. And then control his shoulder using the chin. And then make the pin. Like that. Just different hook the armpit or grab the red pair. Alright, uh, belt. But started from behind him. The before one you started in front of him. It's a little bit different but the same way. Understand? Grab the red pair like that and then roll him and hook the armpit 
like this, control. And then either way, if you want to do it this way, like this. And then move your left hand. If you want to put it down left, move. And then drop the belt. And then do that, and then put it down. And then control his shoulder. So he cannot move this way because of my body blocked his way. But he can only move this way. That's why you drop the belt, hold this arm. If you, if you go like this, you can use it to escape. That's why hold this arm to drop the belt, so you cannot move that way. And then control his shoulder with your chin, like this. He cannot move left, too. he cannot move right. Right? So I hold him. And then move the, and then make a pain. Understand? You know, if you want to be able to do newaza well, you have to be able to use your leg like your hand, which means that you have four hands. One, two, three, four. Leg is leg, hand is hand is hand. You cannot do newaza well. You have to be able to use your leg like a hand. It is